Hello, I'm Vadim. I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios. Today, I'll show you how you can manage MIBs in Nagios XI. MIB stands for Management Information Base, which defines object identifiers, or OIDs, and uses traps to translate machine messages into human readable events. Now that you know the basics, let's get started. MIBs can also have dependencies, such as needing a few different MIBs to function properly. Make sure to have all the necessary and required MIBs. The first step when you log in is to go to Admin. Then, under System Extensions, we could find Manage MIBs. On this page, you could find any SNMP traps that have been configured. You could also upload a MIB up here. You could hit Browse, then find a MIB. You click Open. You could also process this trap and upload. You can also view file permissions. You could process all traps, undo all trap processing, view all associated traps, and below that, you could find the MIB file, when it was first uploaded, if it has been processed, the date that it has been processed, any associated traps, then under Actions, you can find a download. Undo that specific trap process. You could process the trap or delete it. For example, we've uploaded this Cisco Systems MIB. It has been uploaded. And we could process this trap by clicking here. Now we see it has been processed and the date and time that it was processed. Under Associated Traps, we can find different MIBs, the event name, the associated OID, and category, as well as severity. If you have any MIBs that you might need to add, you could always visit MIB Depot or OID View on the top. You could also Google any MIB files that you are looking for. In my example, I had to download Cisco Systems from Google. And there you have it. That's how you can manage MIBs in Nagios XI. If you've enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. We have a lot more helpful videos on our YouTube channel. And with that, we'll see you on the next one.